Let's kick us off. Hi, Chelsea with um, USA Today. Uh, do you think that having to play two games back to back impacted your performance today? I mean, it's yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard, hard to say. It may have felt like we were kind of ran out, out of steam during then, maybe. Plus, we have focus, plus some energy. Hi, this is Harry from Farago Magazine. Um, we've seen EQO and Snilla obviously play over Shadowburn lately. Um, is there any chance we'll see more Shadowburn in stage three? And what's the reason behind that? <laughs> Coaches? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of tough for us to answer, I think. Uh, We've been doing pretty good at Ego right now, so I think that's why we've been running with him and not try to like change the lineup too much. Hey there, guys. Adam from Action Esports. Uh, so during the uh, King's Row map against London, Poco, uh, we saw just about the sneakiest Zarya I have ever seen in my life. Uh, what what motive? What was the thought process? of What motivates you to to try to infiltrate enemy lines like that and, and land that sweet grab bomb? So I know Fury is a top diva, so he's gonna be able to react immediately at any grab I do. So I was trying to flank a lot. It didn't work really well, and yeah, I fucked up a bit on Kings, to be honest. Hey guys, Josh with Blitz Esports. Going back to the London series, I'd like to hear from Snillo and the rest of the team. What's the thought process behind subbing him in for Game 5, and why do you think London had so much trouble dealing with Snillo? Because he got like 21 in a row before the game was over. Uh, it's like Karp is so good at Widowmaker, and Root 6-6 six to six is such a good map for Widowmaker. So we want Widowmaker all the time. And it par it, um, she pairs well with a Tracer, and I'm pretty good at Tracer, so we just play that. <laughs> So how did the rest of your team, like the tank line and the supports, uh, help you specifically succeed? Uh, I don't know, they just play like normal. I try to contest the enemy tracer a lot, so she can't get behind easily. And I focus their tanks, so Karfa can get more space. And sometimes I sneak behind them and I like, call to Fraggy that he can jump. Yeah. Yeah, I think Snilo's place is like really good with, uh, with the Widow Tracer. And we have pretty good coordination with Snilo, so we have good times, just the two of us. So. When you, look for, sorry, when you look for openings, is it you that's like calling, let's go now, or is it Snow that looks for the opening first? I think it changes. Yeah, it's both of us. Changes on the situation. Kevin Hit here from Winston's Lab. Um, first of all, congratulations making it this far. Um, I know it stings a little bit and everybody wants to win. My question is, with you guys you know, not participating in the preseason, a lot of people thought like you guys were behind. Yet, here you are, you know, one of the best teams in the world. What would you attribute that run to in terms of where you started and where you are right now? A question for everybody. My apologies. I guess I'm the one answering most of the good questions. Yes. Boombox, maybe? Uh, I think we just have a really good lineup and a lot of talented players. So even though we didn't have much preparation time, like before the season, we managed to catch up and actually perform well like today. Yeah, Oh, yeah. um, I think we have like a lot of players with good like insights on how to play the game, and we argue a lot. Not not argue, just after games we like to talk what what we did wrong, how we can fix this, what is the most efficient way to play the game. Like not just dive or feel, just okay pressure this guy, use this angle so I can cover you from this. So we are like really calculated team, and I think that's everything. Sydney with IGN. Um, PQO, you guys obviously came in to week five not knowing how you guys were going to get to the playoffs, but you did, which is awesome. How did you, how is playing today going to shape how you guys prepare for stage three? Uh, so we lost in, the, in this stage, we lost to all the Korean teams, and people underestimated us because we obviously lost, and no one expected us to come into this match going like this big. I was, we were kind of fatigued at the end. Going into stage three, I think people are going to start to realize that there's a lot of talent in this team, and we not only can be a strong contender against the Korean teams, but we can also like beat them and eventually even become the best team and win Overwatch League. Hi, uh, Ozzy from Track News. Uh, you mentioned that uh, teams were over underestimating you going into the playoff and throughout stage two. 
So how do you plan to prepare for stage three, knowing that you likely won't be able to take other teams by surprise anymore? I think it's mostly about just perfecting our own game, just play as solid as possible. I think that's the key to being a good team overall in the Rose League. I don't think you just worry too much about people countering you or whatnot. You just react to the uh, hero comes on the fly and play your own best game. Hey there, guys. Adam from Action Esports again. Uh, <clears throat> so, obviously, uh, uh, the Korean rosters are the favorites to win, but you guys showed up in a really big way. You you kind of surpassed everybody's expectations uh, throughout the entire stage and, and really, really improved uh, from your presence in stage one. So who would you say is your MVP of the stage? Snailo. Oh, Snailo. He yeah. happens also much in stage. <laughs> yeah. Hard to understand. Probably Corpe, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, he's he's been destroying every match, so yeah. probably Corpe, I would say. Neptune. Yeah, Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he always says after my games. Don't appreciate me. Maybe he's dumb, you know. I'm just healing people. Uh, Tatiana from USA Today. Um, congratulations, first of all. You guys did really well. Um, what are you guys planning on doing in this week off, and what are your goals for stage three? Like, some of us are going home, I think. Three of our players are going to Korea, and we're just gonna chill for a couple of days before starting practicing again. <coughs> and I think we'll have great confidence going into stage three. So I think we'll do really good. Sean Morrison, ESPN. Um, what do you guys think the biggest adjustment NYXL made was for those final three games? How were they able to kind of turn things around? Uh, I think they started playing like much more aggressive. Like before that, we kind of shut down their Winston and. After the second game, then they started getting like a lot more kills with like their dying, which we were not expecting, and we couldn't adapt fast enough, so they managed to win. I think it was basically Savior V was uh, like hidden behind us way too many times. Mm, we couldn't handle that, so he was just waiting for Manu to jump, and they were like jumping on bombos and killing him a lot, and we couldn't like do much about it. I think we could. Like we didn't do it right, but we could have like done it better. But that was the key point from them. Like they were being aggressive in our backline and getting out of value from like two cooldowns. Yeah, Damien with the PC Gamer, um, Fraggy on um, on Village. There was a play where you and Poco got down to like basically no health, and it was really crazy. Um, so when you guys were like kind of backed up into that corner there, um, was a lot of that just luck that you guys survived that, or what did uh, what did your comms sound like during that whole? Thing? I can't really remember that. Village with Ryan Devar, Ryan Taria? Yeah. Uh, with Ryan Taria, before the Taria event, I guess? Um, it was in the middle. I, I, you were on definitely on Ryan Hart. Yeah, yeah. You had your shield up, you had like no health left. It was really interesting. No, no, I mean, I can't really remember that. Okay. It's most of if I'm low, I'm just like holding for my dear life, holding the shield up. Come on, help me. Move on, move on, kill me. Other questions? All right, I think that's it. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Go to our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info. We've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.